In this video, I want to talk about treads that overhang on the sides and some of the problems you could encounter based on some of the stories I've heard in the past. This is the only type of stairway I have ever built. The treads come to the end of the stringers, and there are a few reasons for that. Uh, one is that uh, it's a safety issue. If you stand on the side of the step, if it overhangs, you could actually um, break the edge off uh, and I'll go into a little more detail in the next uh, section but uh, this way right here where the treads come to the end you can use the stringers and the treads to brace off any type of handrail you're going to build to give you some extra strength and depending upon the design of the handrail mind you uh, but this right here is uh, the overall best way, in my opinion, remember it's just my opinion, to build a set of stairs, um, like maybe for a deck or something. So again, this these uh, treads come to the end, and there is, uh, isn't going to be a safety problem with the edge. And uh, like I said, sometimes you can create a weaker handrail if you don't have the stringer if you don't have the additional strength here to um, attach the handrail posts or uh, balusters or pickets whatever you want to call them this of course is what i'm talking about when you have a tread that sticks past the stringers now here's the first story i wanted to share with you a carpenter was telling me years ago was one time he remembers uh, someone in his family there was a large knot in the tread and they stepped on the side broke the uh, tread broke the end of the tread off and no one was injured of course it was the bottom tread people step stepped on it for years and of course it just gave away the other story I heard was someone coming down the stairs now mind you in a situation like this you have somebody coming down the stairs if they're going in this direction they're going to tend to walk to this side if there is no handrail. They're going to tend to go to the closest spot here. They're not going to walk straight down the center of the stairway and then turn. This isn't going to be the most common method of travel for a set of stairs, which again is probably my biggest pet peeve for this. Um, you know, someone steps on the end of this and uh, they the the tread gives away or it breaks and there's a problem. So the second story is that the nails loosened up on each side as people walked on them over the years. They tripped over the nails as people stepped on it. Um, and of course, one day the person telling the story said that uh, they stepped on the side of the tread and the tread um, hit them in the back, almost uh, knocked them out the way they were telling the story. And uh, they just simply stepped on it. Over time, the nails loosening up, um, no one re reattaching the, the uh, tread, and uh, whammo, you got a small head injury. So that's uh, kind of the basic idea of why I don't like the treads overhanging. If it's a design, an idea that you like, it's going to be for a set of stairs, it's going to be less than three steps. I don't know. I don't think it's going to be as big of a problem as it would be for a stairway that might be a full length stair set of stairs that uh, might be going up anywhere between 8 and 13 steps. Last part of the video, let's take a look at a handrail if you attached it to the stair treads. You might be able to create a strong handrail with something like this, but if you're not able to attach it to the stringers, then I don't think it's going to be as strong. But again, it all depends upon the method. There are a variety of different ways you can make a handrail like this and make it strong with the treads uh, extending past the stringers. Let's go ahead and take a look at the reason why I'm putting the handrail in in the first place. Um, not just because of the structural strength, but the handrail actually would prevent you from stepping on the sides that might not be, uh, they might be a little flimsy or over time create problems for anyone who stepped on them. So a handrail would allow um, the person to, would force them to walk down the 
uh, center of the stairs more than the edge. I mean, you could just imagine someone coming down the stairway here. If they're heading in this direction, they're going to come off of here and probably just jump off of it or come down and they're going to be walking as close to the edge as they can without a handrail. So, and again, there are reasons, there are plenty of other reasons why we do not build stairs like this. You know, it's not a real common design. Um, and most of it has to do with safety, which would re, re take us back to the safety hazards of stepping on the edge of this and having them break or come loose, and the fact that you might not be able to design a handrail system that would uh, be strong enough to uh, support the recommended uh, or that would meet the local building codes so anyway i hope that makes sense it is off to the next video don't forget if you like these videos hit the old thumbs up button every once in a while